Hello guys, you know that GitLab is an online platform where you can integrate your project with along with your team members. So today I'm gonna tell you that how to create an account on the GitLab and create a group then add members or your teammates to that group and manage repos repositories and create a uh, project milestones and uh, snippets. So let's get started. You have to first visit gitlab.com Then you have to select the sign in or sign up button at the top rightmost corner Then uh, already it uh, gave me sign in option but we have to click on register Then uh, write all the credentials like I will write my name I will select my username I will take my channel name as my username whether it is accepting or yes it is accepting I think yes username is available then we have to type the email address type the valid email address because they will confirm the, our email address by sending the email to that confirmation email Then we have to create one password with minimum length of 8 characters. I will write to receive updates via mail about GitLab. I am not a robot. Isn't I? Yes, I am not a robot. Then uh, if we want to register with Google, Twitter or GitHub account or a Bitbucket then we can sign it by clicking on these buttons or icons then uh, click on remember me then register then uh, we are almost there please check your email to confirm your account now this is my Gmail account I already opened it yes uh, this is the uh, confirmation instructions they are thanking me for uh, thanks for signing up to gitlab to get started click the link below to confirm your account confirm your account chupka me deri kyu now we have already registered then now we have to sign in with our username what was my username uh, harmful harmful chaitanya Actually, I am useful. I think so. Uh, type the password and sign in. Now, this is the welcome screen, or we can say a dashboard of the GitLab account. Now, I told that I will create a group for you, a new project, and explore what the files uh, we have uploaded. Now, first of all, if you are trying to add group members or teammates of your project then you can create click on group, new group option uh, you can name that group i will name this group as good group it is a good group just a description it is option actually uh, we can select the author of the group but it's not important uh, I will select this as private group because it will be only viewed to all my members uh, which are in my group and uh, not these these are not options we should not select these options actually we can we are ready now to create a group now our group is created now we can uh, add members to this like selecting the members option Uh, this is me, uh, owner of this group. Then I can add uh, other users to this group, like doing searching 
users on this ask your team members teammates to create an account we can add them as a guest like they cannot do they cannot do anything on this uh, group uh, they can be a reporter they can just report their what they are doing developer they can edit the code only commit they cannot commit master has an option to commit the issues whether that only will take till later in another video and they can be owner like just you are like you are an owner they can also be the owner of the group so i will make this as owner add to group this will add in the moment yes uh, it is now added to this group this is actually me i'm already working on a project actually you can again view this group now using this group in this group we can create a new project by selecting a new project option yeah we can give this is actually the project making wizard creating wizard we can use a template by using ruby on rails if you know these languages you can use spring node js express or import any project from github bit bucket google code fog bugs git jia and other other repositories just similar like gitlab uh here i will create an group uh, uh, sorry a uh, project uh i will select a name eureka and uh, write a description like it is a good description you can write anything in the description what you want uh, uh, like an objective of your project then you have to keep this visibility as private and create the project project is now successfully created uh, then we can add files to it like uh, what are the project files that you are having of your project by clicking on the plus button then write the file name i have already create i have my files i will add this location.java file copy the code and paste it here write the name of the file location.java and then save changes you can also select this option template if you know this then only do this otherwise i will suggest not to do anything then commit changes as you are aware, you don't have to answer anyone for committing any changes or adding new files now the repository will be created for location.java this file will be accessed by all the other members in your group if they are not able to access then check your settings now we have just created groups and a project and a repository now we will now you will see how to create a milestone project milestone are like goals of your project uh, we can have multiple goals or a single goal i will create a new milestone in eureka project we have we have to uh, this is a new milestone creating wizard we here we can type the title like uh capture image description will be like what we want from this the app the android app must be able to capture an image this milestone will be visible to all your team members this will be like a small goal a sh very tiny goal of your application here you can select the date i will select today's date and uh, select due date the uh, last or the last date of your milestone i will select 15 15 november 2017 and just create a milestone you can attach a file also to it like an image or written format of that file then thus we have created a milestone for the application we can close the milestone milestone anytime uh, like it is 
achieved then we can close the version otherwise delete it directly now, now I will show you how to create a snippet snippets are the codes or the files which you have to which you want to make it private like only visible to you or public visible to everyone on the GitLab I will create a new snippet I will make a private note just like you make a note or in your diary it is same as that I will create same which I added in the repository just for showing you you can write anything in the description then attach a file or you can attach a code also to it I will attach a file to it select any file I will select this file open this will be only private to me because I am selecting the private option you can make it internal so that uh, your team members also can see it or you can make it public here you have to add the code coding part so copy this code and then just paste it paste it here you can optionally name this file if you don't name it then it is also ok because you have written everything about it here and thus create snippet thus we have created a snippet we have created groups projects milestones and snippets just like facebook we have sign out profile i will go to profile this is only just to show you how the gitlab is here are the activ my activities that i done just 9 or 8 minutes ago like uh, i created a good group this will be the chart or the graph that uh, how much active i am actually then i can uh, select my author like profile picture just like facebook or twitter or instagram i have currently this default author given by gitlab these are actually all the settings so that's all for this video hope this video will help you if this video helped you then do like my video uh, so that's it guys bye alvida take care